undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive. One, two, one, two. This is undergroundhiphopblog.com, world famous. We got the legendary Craig G. What's good, man? And we in California right now. My name is Craig G. We in Long Beach. My man Solo over there in the cut. What's good, famo? You know what it is, man. We here. What's good? In the East Coast, you are a legend, okay? Um, what's the big difference between underground in the East Coast and underground in the West Coast? I don't really categorize it like that, man. The way I look at it is there's good hip-hop and bad hip-hop. Now, people's definitions from that might be different. So the hip-hop I like, it doesn't have like a boundary of a place attached to it. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of great MCs on the West. There's a lot of great MCs on the East. I don't really, you know, hip-hop is a brotherhood. And if you're nice at it, there's like an unwritten code. We don't even speak. You just get that head nod, like, what up? So it don't matter where you're from in my world, man. If you're nice, you're nice. If you trash, you trash. And I'm, in, I'm from New York. And there's trash dudes in New York just like there's trash dudes on the West. It's no different. Where you're from should never make you who you are. Your skills make you who you are, and that's what it is. The majority of our fans, our visitors, are, you know, 18, 21, young cats. You know, give these cats a little bit of background on who you are and how many MCs who they've probably listened to you've influenced. For one, shout out to the younger viewers. You're going to be really mad. My new album is called Ramblings of an Angry Old Man. I am shaking my fist at dudes with skinny jeans on on the cover. But at the end of the day... Y'all are welcome to come along because all I'm trying to do is teach. Let me show y'all the album cover right quick while I'm, while I'm speaking. But, I mean, you know, if you Google or Wikipedia me, you know that I'm involved with a legendary crew called the Juice Crew that influenced all the rap clicks that ever started. I was a young kid then. I was like 12, 13 years old when it first jumped off. Um, Big Daddy Kane, Biz Marky, Roxanne Shante, MC Sham, Master Ace, G-Rap, we all from the same crew. You feel me? And... This is the album cover. You see that? I got Sadat X, Mr. Cheeks, Devin the Dude, Styles P, Sean Dawn, Big Pooh, Jake One, the Beat Miners. Man, we got some joints on there, man. So, you know, but let me not stray off the subject. Listen, I've been here for a minute. I still spit like I haven't had a meal in days. And it don't matter how long I'll be here, I'll be 65 years old. And whenever I hear a dope hip-hop song, I'll be inspired to make one just as dope. So... I'm here, man. Look me up, man. My name is Craig G. If you don't know, get a clue, get a late pass, get a schooling, because I'm sick of the radio saying back in the days 2007, there were great MCs here before that. You know what it is. A lot of MCs are delusional about the freestyle game. You know, a lot of a lot of MCs think they could just write raps and not not freestyle or not know how to freestyle. How important is it for MCs nowadays to actually study the culture and find out where hip hop came from? Well, it's a double-edged sword to me, honestly. It's like, to me, the freestyle element, to me, the, the, the one greatest thing about that is it keeps your bars sharp. Now, you can get pigeonholed in the freestyle world. You know, just as much as I love a sick freestyle, I love to hear a great album. You know what I mean? And you got to find that balance. And before I battled Supernatural and all that, I had Drop and Science, The Symphony, Juice Crew, All-Stars, and... People seem to have forgot about that and was like, yo, man, uh, you know, dudes like that, that freestyle like that can't make good records. And I'm like, damn, I had classics before y'all even knew I could freestyle. So to me, you use the freestyling to keep your skills sharp. But when you get in that booth, try to do some cohesive music, try to do some stuff that people could feel, but never, never dispel the element of freestyle or just spitting bars because... You never know when a dude might try to jump on stage and embarrass you at your show. You always got to be ready. MCs are an insecure bunch. So if you're rocking the crowd, some dude might want to jump on stage and challenge you. And in the real hip-hop realm, you never run from a challenge. You might just bust their ass and go back to your show. That's how you do. Feel me? So to me, you got to have all elements, man. You know... Study the break dancing, study the graffiti, study the DJs, study all of that because it's all a part of hip hop. And if you only know one element, then you're not really educated in the full thing. You know what I mean? Before I let you go, this is going to be the last question. Once again, this is undergroundhiphopblog.com, exclusive interview with the legendary Craig G. The Eight Mile. Millions and millions of people saw that film that you had a lot to contribute in those freestyle battles give us a little bit of background on how that started 
And how did that make you feel? Well, for one, if you saw the video or the movie Eight Mile, if you own the original DVD, you could go to the bonus footage. I'm also in the bonus footage, judging battles with Eminem. So um, the Eight Mile thing came across from coming to L.A. I was one of the judges at the Rap Olympics. Me and AC alone, we were just speaking about that because otherwise at one, and me, Em, and Paul forged a friendship. Plus, I've been to the club, The Shelter, where they actually staged the movie, and I actually battled Proof there. Rest in peace to the brother Proof, man. And, you know, when it was time to do the movie, they called me up and were like, yo, we want these battles to be as authentic as possible. So I wrote all of the actors who went against Eminem's lyrics. I even wrote Exhibit lyrics, even though Exhibit's one of the greatest MCs in his own right. I wrote his joints. He changed a couple of words. I also wrote lyrics for Get Rich or Die Trying. I'm just working, man, you know. Just trying to do my little work, man, you know. Once again, we got the legendary Craig G from the East Coast. This is undergroundhiphopblog.com. Hey, y'all, listen, man, this is Craig G. We don't really rock with that mainstream bullshit. You rocking with undergroundhiphopblog.com. If you're not rocking with us, unplug your device, your phone, your computer, toss that shit in the garbage. Craig G, undergroundhiphopblog.com. You know what it is, man. Shout out to the homie Solo. One. Undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive.